Good morning. Um, it's currently half six. I'm on my second cup of tea. Ryan's ready for school. Ethan just needs to get dressed and then he's ready for school. Jessica's still asleep. Um, but we had a really bad night last night, um, which I wasn't expecting because Monday night, uh, he actually went halfway into his room, had a little look before he went to sleep in our bed. So I was like, oh yeah, that's good, that's progress. And then last night he actually went in, sat on his bed before he went to sleep in our bed. So obviously after he fell asleep, we moved him into his bed. And then at two o'clock this morning, he came in, uh, knocked our bedroom light on because he has to have the lights on. So that was fine. Um, we just lay in bed with the lights on and Rob went to try and sleep in Ryan's bed because he had to be up for work at five. Um, but after not very long, Ryan just started having meltdowns and the screaming and the crying, it was horrendous. Um, he's never been like that before. Hello, Ryan. Um, we don't know what caused it, what it was about, why it was about. Um, but Ryan, that's paint. It's not sweets, it's paint. Come here. Ryan, come here. No, that's for painting. That's not for eating. Um, so I don't know what it was about, but that went on and on. Um, at four o'clock, he was still having meltdowns, but he'd woken Ethan up. So, and I just couldn't take it anymore. So I decided, came downstairs and put Thomas the Tank Engine on the telly with no sound on. And he's just been watching that ever since. Ethan was a bit sort of out of sorts with it all. So he came and slept in our bed for a bit till Rob got up at five to go to work. Um, so Rob left at half five and here we are. I've messaged my dad because he's off work today to see if he could take Jessica out this morning um, so I can try and get some sleep. Um, Jessica's still asleep at the minute. She slept through everything. I don't know how. It's a miracle, but I'm very glad she slept at least. Um, so it's going to be a really hard day for Ryan and Ethan, but I really need him. Well, I really need the pair of them to not sleep today um, or it'll be a nightmare trying to get him to bed tonight. So we'll see how it is. And we're going to have a word with school because all this sleep thing has started since he went back after half term. See if it's anything's changed at school that might be triggering it. Or it could be just a delayed trauma response from when he was in hospital. But I don't know. There's always something about this time of year where things just get a bit mad for Ryan. And then normally after the Easter holidays or after June half term, everything seems to sort itself out. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. It's not fun to be in our house at the moment though. These two pieces of equipment like saved my life. We've got gammon currently cooking in the slow cooker for our tea tonight so that's on days like today when I've had no sleep that's dead easy just chuck it in switch it on and then the air fryer we've got a two-sided one one side will be like kids chicken nuggets and chips the other side will stick our roast taties in and they'll be done in like 40 minutes um, and so we can just chuck 
everything in there tonight and then it'll just be cooked and dish it up and that'll be cooked and I don't have to think because like days like today when you're running on no sleep um, we need easy food easy peasy food and I barely use my oven since I've got my slow cooker and air fryer they honestly saved my life Right, look, we've got Ethan and Jessica here having breakfast in the toy room. Special treat. Because we've had a funny morning, haven't we? And Ethan's got his tablet. And then here's Ryan. Yeah, mischief. Watching the telly. We've got Thomas the Tank Engine with no sound on, haven't we? You coming to say hello? You want to see? Uh, uh. That's you. Looks very tired. You can see the bags under his eyes from a mile away. I wonder why that could be. Wonder why that could be, Ryan. Hmm? There we go. Well, there they are. Hmm? Where's your tea? They've made it till tea time. And they're still awake. I don't know how they're still awake. It's currently half four. That's easy there. Oh, my tea. You're gonna sit there, are you? There's your juice. I've got it. <coughs> what have you got for tea? Me. Turkey dinosaurs. Me, Daddy. A very yes. small. Yep. Broccoli. Oh, broccoli. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Is that for me to eat? Yum. Yeah. Um, and then a very tired Ryan. But he's being good, aren't you? Oh, he's being good. Oh. It's the 10th of March and we have snow. Not very much. But snow nonetheless. did this the year we got married because our wedding anniversary is the 14th um, it snowed right before so uh, not unusual for March but not what we like in March so Ryan's sleep um, what well, we're on it's Friday so Wednesday night he went to bed got into sleep Put him in his bedroom and he was up at midnight came in our room with the lights on um so we just left the lights on and he tried to get back to sleep for about an hour and a half so at half one he started looking like he was gonna have a meltdown so i took him downstairs and put Thomas the Tank Engine on with no sound for him downstairs and let Rob and Ethan and Jessica sleep upstairs and I stayed downstairs with him and he didn't sleep all night at 10 to 6 because Rob gets up at half 6 I went back upstairs and went to bed for a little bit um, and I slept till half 7 when I got up and got dressed and stuff, Rob had got up half six, got all the kids sorted. And then, because I was too tired to drive them to school, I got mum to come pick us up to take them to school. Um, and then I came home with Jessica and Rob finished work at half 12. So when he got home, I went back to bed until it was time to pick them up from school. Um, but Ryan managed all day at school. He had like a 20 minute nap at 10 o'clock, they said. Um, so that was fine. Um, then he, we took him up to bed about five o'clock because he was shattered. And he had a meltdown for an hour before he fell asleep at six o'clock. Um, this was with the lights on. So then I came downstairs went back to bed at eight o'clock i decided i'd stay in the bedroom with him um and i'd just try and sleep with the lights on with him to see if he slept 
last night. Um, but I'd got Rob because we've got like a chandelier with five light bulbs in, so it's bright. Through the day yesterday, I got Rob to unscrew three of the light bulbs, so it wasn't as bright. Um, so I stayed with him. I need to get one of them sleep masks things because I ended up sleeping with a headband over my eyes because I can't sleep with the lights on very well. But I, I was tired enough that I managed. Um, and so he stayed in bed, sleep, sort of sleeping, we'll say, um, till quarter past six where he got up. And then I just took him downstairs and put Thomas' tank engine on and went back to bed um, till Rob got up half six because he was all right for 15 minutes um but he's really struggling with his sleep apnea at the moment it's waking him up a lot through the night um and i guess he's waking up because he can't breathe and it's causing him a lot of i think it's causing him a lot of anxiety around sleep and so i think that could be like a really key feature to why he's not been sleeping all of a sudden um but yeah so he slept last night all the kids are at school and nursery today so i'm going to rest today and then they're having a sleepover at nanny and granddad's on saturday night so rest today hopefully we can do the same arrangements tonight as last night and he'll sleep tonight and then he can go to nanny and granddad's and we'll see see what happens but yeah so very relieved to have had a good night's sleep